to again, fact check not only your desires, but also fact check if they're happening or not, or if you're worthy of them or not, or if they're manifesting yet or not. Like not be so dependent on the physical senses. Because it doesn't matter what's happening to the physical senses. It doesn't mean that what you've desired hasn't already been created, because it has. What you expanded into, the expansion was immediately given. Ask and it is given. If you stay true to that, if you have faith, then it shall manifest also to the physical senses. And this gives you so much more energy to be naturally in tune with appreciating all of creation, feeling the oneness of it, the harmony of it. It's very difficult to attain a state of oneness in your meditations if you're coming from a place of restricting yourself, your expansion, of being unnatural, basically. It's an unnatural way of being. So you have all these limiting ideas and all these arguments with your own expansion, the things you set you have become vibrationally. Going against that and then trying to mitigate feeling bad with meditation and trying to reach oneness and the pure I am and so forth, but without a holistic energy flow is very difficult, very difficult. Whereas if you're naturally expensive, you're naturally exuberant, and you're not just focused on getting the Ferrari, you know, you, you've matured beyond that. You understand it's about raising your state of being. It's about becoming what you're meant to become your blueprint, your expansion, and adding to the expansion of the creator. It's about the never-ending journey of expansion. And if you can align to that, if you can begin to agree with that, give yourself permission to agree with that flow, then suddenly you have so much energy. You've got so much clarity naturally coming to you because you're attuned. You're resonating with the whole of the universe, the wholeness. Then your meditations will come easy. They'll be energized. They'll be clear. There can be thoughts or no thoughts. doesn't even matter. Your thoughts will be of the highest nature. You'll be producing new universes somewhere. You won't be thinking. You'll be listening. It'll just be happening. It's source thinking through you. It's just a vortex. Your mind starts to become the vortex. The vortex is your mind. So now every action is inspired. It's not doership. It's not from a state of resistance. Now, as a physical body, I'm going to try to make a difference or control things. There's no need to control anything. Only if you agree to the facts. Then you, the only way to be happy is to control things. But if you're aligned, and you all know this, from the moments of alignment, of exuberance, of bliss, of joy, of expansion, you have no desire to control anything or anyone. Because there's no doubt, because you're not fact-checking anything. It feels kind of like you're disconnected from the world, but in the most pleasant kind of way. You feel so clear and stable in yourself, not in the world, but in yourself. And the world doesn't even really appear anymore. And in the enlightenment teachings, when we say things like, you know, if you go deeply enough into the I or the I am or the pure awareness, the world starts to disappear or there is no world even, or in the absolute, there is no universe whatsoever. There's not even a creation. When we say things like that, it very much matches up with living in future presence, becoming subtler and subtler in your frequency, in your faith and allowing being in agreement with the universe more and more. Will you just experience the expansion the subtlety, the calm, the peace, the love, the joy, the exuberance of that expansion, and less and less will you see a world. You stop agreeing with the world. You stop agreeing with other people, which are just echoes of your own mind, your own conditioning. And then you're free. Then you're flying high. And from your flying high, as Ra says to the disciplined seeker, everything is free and open, meaning ask and it is given. I have a question and the answer shall be there instantly. Everything is open and free to the disciplined personality. What does that mean in this context? It means you care more about your frequency than you care about the facts of this world. That simple. Don't let physical reality distract you. It has absolutely no power to stop your future presence. Absolutely no power. <laughs>